The Open Legacy architecture encompasses a set of development tools, full runtime environment, and API management capabilities. Open Legacy projects are basic Java projects which are built to expose APIs based on existing legacy backends. As the first step in creating the SDK project, the Create Project Wizard connects us to the legacy AS400 host to create a trail file that contains all the metadata required to accurately describe the legacy screens. These metadata are used in creating the Java models that will be used in the live application. After connecting to the legacy system, we perform the run emulation process. In this example, we are using a collection of demo screens. In a real-world project, the client will provide the necessary credentials to log in to the log legacy host. The run emulation process takes us through each screen individually. The screens are displayed from the legacy host, and upon clicking the log off option, the trail file is created. We now generate the model, converting the XML metadata in the trail file into Java models and selecting to create a JUnit test. The Entity Editor is a graphical editor that allows us to view and edit the Java models. All fields that appear in the top left pane of the Entity Editor are editable. Note that the Entity Editor allows us to work on each screen in much greater detail than when we run, ran the emulation. In the top right pane, we select the fields that can uniquely identify each screen. These are the screen identifiers. We now analyze each screen separately, identifying and confirming each field and action available on the screen. Part of the analysis requires that we create navigation between screens. We do this by identifying for each screen the originating screen from which it is accessed. The screens are not presented in their original order, and thus we must be fully familiar with their legacy order. After fields, actions, and navigations have been defined, the show map view displays the screen flow for verification and to ensure that we have not left any orphan screens. Running the JUnit test, we see that the Java returns a list of item details from the AS400 legacy host. To create the service, we create API projects and expose them as REST or SOAP services. In this case, we are creating an API project using our SDK project as the reference project. Now we generate the service items directly from the SDK, choosing the API input and output and changing it if necessary. 
In our example, the output is a list of item details. Using the service editor, the implementer can edit the inputs and outputs of the service. All the graphical activities are available by editing the Java code. We can now run the application. Using a browser, we can now see the API catalog, invoke the new API and its documentation, the request and response, and test it in the Swagger page. These emulations serve as real-time application testing and proof of application design by displaying actual runtime results in the Swagger format. Our Swagger emulation displays the item details returned after we entered the getItems command.